Okie dokie. Taking me all day. But I have finally done my hair. Um, don't know what kind of style I went for. Don't know what I did. But I'm not mad at it. As long as it's neat. That's all I care about. Cool. So I'm going to do my makeup. I'm meeting Ro. We're going... Where are we going? We're going out tonight. I can't remember where we're going. I don't actually know. I'm sorry. Yeah, we're going out tonight. Not too sure where we're going. But, um... Yeah, I was going for a click drink, you know. Click drink. Oh my god, so this morning my mum called me on a mad one, like, you need to clean the house. We need to clean this. And I was like, do you know what? I'm hiring a cleaner. So <laughs> literally within like two seconds, I just hired a cleaner to come in to do my chores for me. Because on a serious note, I'm too cute to clean. Well, I'm too cute to like clean a lot, you know? So yeah i hired someone to do that shit for me judge me if you want judge me but in this life cleaning is a whole like takes ages and i've already planned to do my hair like, i've been doing my hair since 12 o'clock this morning this afternoon it is currently that no lip balm came out of that literally no lip balm. and it's quite literally five so i've been doing my hair for the past five hours do you think i have time to also clean on top of that please anyway um I like my hair like this it's kind of fun basically the hair at the front of my head is really really short so i don't and obviously i have a little bald patch on this side of my head which i'm trying to grow back so it's a side fringe type of vibe this reminds me of back in the day at school this was such a high school hairstyle oh my day this literally reminds you back in the day at school but yeah yesterday was the most chaotic day of my life can you imagine? So basically, I had to go pick up my brother from somewhere. That's why I didn't do my hair today. I had to go pick up my brother from somewhere and... Yeah, I had to go pick up my brother from somewhere and he got trapped inside the hair salon. Literally trapped in the hair salon. I made a whole TikTok about it. Check out on TikTok because I really see the to go through the depths of it right now. But it was... It took up my whole evening. I didn't get home till like midnight. I was exhausted. It was hilarious. He basically was trapped inside the hair salon because of the electric shutters broke and they had no electricity. Long story, but anyway, I need to hurry up and get ready because Robo is waiting for me. She's been ready for ages now. Um, so yeah, we're going to get do some makeup. I'm going to skip through this really quickly because I feel like we already know what the vibe is when it comes to makeup. All right. It's giving fringe. It's giving fringe. So, my camera's wonky. Better. Look at my outfit. How cute is she? Okay, okay, so we're good to go. Cute, right? Let me show you on, in the mirror. How cute is she? I love men's blazers because they actually have functional pockets. I'm like, women's ones are all fake. Because what is the point of a fake pocket? Somebody tell me the point of a fake pocket. But anyway, this is my outfit today. I went with something different at first, but I thought it looked a bit too masculine. You know, and with my hair like this, it's already quite, like, childish. So I kind of wanted an outfit that kind of gave me a little bit of maturity. But yeah, this is literally a blazer that I got from a thrift thrifting situation with a belt from Zara thrown on top of it. Um, yeah. That's pretty much me with some shorts underneath. I hope I don't get cold. Honestly, I hope I don't get cold, but I think I'm gonna wear like a long jacket on top. But yeah, this is what I look like today. <laughs> starving and my sushi is finally here. I was waiting for her to get off the phone <laughs> so I can fucking eat. <laughs> Wish 
Hi. Good morning, guys. All right. So I'm in a rush today. So I'm meant to be going to a gallery, or I am going to a gallery with a few of my friends, which starts at three. But sweetie, two of my nails are broken. Off brand. Off freaking brand. So anyway, I need to go and get that fixed like this morning. So I was like, let me just get a whole brand new set. But it's 12. Mm, it's 12 o'clock now. Ideally, I wanted to get to the nail shop by like one. And then once they finish, hopefully it's not that busy. If they're really busy, then I won't stay. But if they're not that busy, I'm just gonna get a quick set done. And then go from there to meet them. So I need to basically, I needed to be ready like 30 minutes ago, but the way my bed was looking and the way my head was feeling yesterday, oh my God, I was, I don't know why. I don't know what I drank, but I was feeling it. Oh my God. I was feeling it so in my veins. Literally had the hangover from hell. Okay, I'm gonna keep this hair out. So basically, I'm gonna try and do like a up bun type thing. A high bun. I know what I'm wearing, I think. I'm wearing flats because the way my feet be hurting after yesterday, I'm not wearing any kind of heeled shoe. I don't want to pin the, all this hair away. Let's do that. Okay. Let's do that. And then let's do that. This is not a tutorial. I'm just trying to figure out a hairstyle in 0 0.2 seconds. Also, guys, a little life hack. Um, when my hair straightens and I put product in it, and I want to like style it in between. I use like a dry shampoo in my hair to like get rid of all the excess. Um, yeah, I want to switch up my style. So, um, a little life hack for you. Because for a long time, I genuinely believed dry shampoo was not for the black girls. Like, I genuinely thought dry shampoo was for the paler toned. Um, for the 2A type hairs, like the three, not even the three type hair, but the 2As or the kind of type hair. But honestly, we should be using dry shampoo. Like it's such a sick thing. It's <laughs> such an interesting creation. It like gets rid of all the oils and excess bits in your hair that you just, that just aren't. Normally, I would do this section by section, but honestly, when you don't have time, you gotta do what you gotta do. Okay. Kinda want the bun to be messy anyway, so that's good. Cool, cool, cool. Now we have all of this stuff. I wanted to give myself, I, okay, so I finally bought myself these like pin little hair straighteners. Put a bit of Olaplex on them, on my edges, just to give them a little bit of protection. Um, Yeah, that Olaplex number six, guys, I'm sorry, it was one of the best things I have put on my hair in a while and I don't really rave about products are expensive, but that Olaplex number six, so, so, so good. It definitely made like the straightening and styling process of my hair like a lot quicker. So I would recommend it if you're into like putting heat on your hair, but you just want it to be protected and want it to last a bit longer. Um, the only reason why this didn't last that long for me was because um, I showered last night and it got, my hair got a bit wet because I was just not paying attention in the shower. You're only just very drunk, so you're just nothing is, you're just not paying attention in the shower, basically. Ow! <laughs> I feel like I should 
to really wrap. Do you know what? I'm going to do this and then I'm going to wrap the hair at the back so that it just sets in a bit. So that the gel can set a little bit. I'm going to do this now so that the curling can like relax a bit too. Whatever, it's fine. Okay. We'll fix it in a minute. So let's just wrap the hair. Then maybe because I wrap it, it will make the curls come down a little bit. I'm literally, at this point, I'm just winging it. Whatever happens, happens. Sailor fucking V. Do you know what I mean, love? Right. Okay. Let's do the rest of my makeup. I need, the way I need to rush, there is no rest for the wicked at this point. something is that's where we're at right now um but honestly i can't come and kill myself right 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 right, right. now we need to figure out what we're doing with these oh my god my setting spray is like the morphe mist thing and i sprayed it on my face and it made some of this some of these bits spread up which is a bit annoying yeah i'm gonna straighten that out I did not do all of this to have frizzy hair. Please. Okay. So I think how we're gonna I just I wish I put some I wish I didn't take this much hair out. If you know what I mean. But it's a bit too much hair out. I kind of want the bits at the front to like fall to fall down. So I'm gonna just Mm. I haven't put lower lash mascara so that's probably what's missing and I haven't got any highlighter on that's all I can think of maybe more blusher because when in doubt blush it out I made that up on everybody else bar me <laughs> I think this style just looks good on everybody else bar me I think that's just the vibe oh my god I have the worst headache god this hair is so curly now shiitake right I think I'm gonna push some hair back I think this is too much yeah I think I'm just gonna slip some hairs back even at the front. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's better. Sorry, right, just slick some of that hair back because I think there's just too much hair on. Okay, now it's a little bit cuter. Before there was just too much going on. Now it's a lot cuter. Yeah, thank God I put some back. Okay, I just know I'm gonna have a flyaway at the back of my head. 
จะจัดการ
light situation that is just giving. It's giving light in the darkness. It's giving mystery. It's giving follow the light. <laughs> I don't know what this is. It's giving fruit on a brown thing. You know? I don't know what this is meant to be giving. Oh wait, are these real? To touch that. Welcome to Naya's art display. It's one of our many pieces we have here. It's called Light Bulb. It's giving nudity. It's a really big painting though. I mean sculpture. It's huge. <gasps> this one's scary. Oh my god, this one's scary. I don't like that. You will never understand what I want to do to get this top on. So now I can't take it off. Now I need to buy it. You guys, I don't know what I went through. This top is so nice though. I normally stay away from tops like this because of my boobs are really, really small. But I kind of like this vibe. Itty bitty to make kitty ill. Itty bitty titty kimmy for the win. Yeah, this is a cute bag. Imagine this is some nice like denim, some nice cute heels, cute jacket. I have an outfit in my mind for this top, so I'm gonna get it. Why the hell not? Love her. Okay, this one was a lot easier to put on, I'm not gonna lie. It was like, can I show you the thing to the back? Just required these little things at the back, hooking them on like a bra. But I kind of like the way this makes my. I look flat chested. <laughs> I still look flat chested. But I kind of like the way it looks from the front. Does that make sense? Hmm. Brown or black? Don't know which one to go with. But I do like the brown. But it kind of makes me like a naked. You know, on my skin tone, I think black I could get more wears out of. So. so, after 20 minutes of faffing around about this bag, I bought one. Yay! Wait, is this black or is this navy? This is black, right? Oh, okay. come with three new lights in my room is the king so freaking bright i love it i absolutely love 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 it anyway so i got her finally got her um yeah so basically coach were doing like a 40 percent off sale which i wasn't aware of so i walk in and i'm like okay let's just see the bags are on sale and my idea for this new bag is something that i can wear like often and have it as a casual bag not really as a statement piece something that's like casual to add to my collection so let's take a look at she okay i kind of already unboxed because i was on the phone i was so excited but for the girls at home this is her this is her so i went with the like mauve purple kind of color it was on sale for like i'm even gonna take do you know i don't care it was on sale for like 221 pounds 
So this was originally like, I think either 395 or 495, something along those lines. And I got her for 221. I thought I couldn't, I just couldn't get past how good of a sale it was. So I just had to grab her in this color. Um, they also had like, I know a lot of you guys, well, someone said that I should have went with the champagne color instead from my vlog, my last vlog. And honestly, I was thinking of getting her, but I feel like I don't really like having what other people have. I like something that's a bit more unique. So I went with the purple. Um, and it's got like really nice dark hardware as well. So the thing is, I have a lot of dark sh colors in my wardrobe and also some light colors. So I think I can wear this really well, with, like some light denim, just to add a little bit of Jenny C. Quag. I have a lot of dark jackets. It's a good like winter, autumnal, but also I can wear this in like the springtime as well. It's a good transition piece. So I'm really happy with my little purchase. Guys, I said the bag collection is my vibe for 2022. And sis really stuck to her word. I love her so much. I love her so much. She's so pretty. It came with this lovely little cloth bag as well. So I'm gonna be keeping her in there, honey. Dang. Girl, I don't want to scratch on our good sis, okay? So yeah, I really, really love her. Um, I did actually get it from Selfridges. I got it from the coach in the Regent Street store. Actually, no, you guys saw me in the Regent Street store. I think it was a better, better for me to get it from there rather than get it from Selfridges because they don't have as much options in Selfridges. But um, yeah. That's my new coach tabby. That's her. I also went into Zara, Zara you guys saw. Thing is, the Zara in Regent Street, I'm so sorry, trash, trash. They only had, like, they had a few things upstairs, but it was, I don't know, some of the things are just quite ill-fitting. But anyway, so I got this. I have a date night next week. So I got this little bad boy to wear. But she have this outfit that I saw Hailey Bieber wear and I've been obsessed with it for a while now. So it was like a leather corset or a black corset with like denim and like some nice cute, um, I think pink heels, like a pop-up color heel. And then like an also like a double denim look but with a black corset inside. I just thought it was absolutely stunning. So I've been looking for a really nice black corset. So when I saw this and I tried it on, she was a bitch to put on though. I ain't gonna lie. I show you guys saw that. She was a bitch to put on. But um, regardless, I still got it. <laughs> I said I will suffer for the look. I will suffer for the look. But anyway, that is pretty much me for this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We went shopping, we went for dinner, we went about went about town went to museums. We did art. You know, you know I love to give you guys a little bit of art, a little bit of Jenny C. Qua. Gorgeous, gorgeous girls love art. Um, which is really nice. I really like reading about art and like the things behind what the artists thought when they put this picture together like what's happening in the painting looking at their faces looking at the expressions i don't know i find it really interesting i'm a history girl do you know what i mean lots of me some history but anyway yeah that is us for this vlog hope you guys had fun i had a great time i'm gonna stop rambling on now and i will see you guys on the next pick up my camera bye